guys. Whoa, a video on a Tuesday? What's happening? Surprise. I came up with this idea that I wanted to try TikTok Tuesday. I have a lot of people who don't like TikTok, don't use TikTok, whatever, and I thought, hmm, how can I make sure that they too can see my creative genius at work? And boom, TikTok Tuesday was born. Anyway, here's the first TikTok Tuesday video. And don't forget, this Friday, my blowjob technique tutorial is coming out noon Eastern Standard Time. It's TikTok Tuesday. I'm gonna share with you today. Gotta get them views day. TikTok Tuesday. Story time. So every relationship I've ever had has lasted about a month because, well, I just love a free trial period. Anyway, one guy I dated, let's call him, just a fucking helicopter. I'm trying to tell a story, sir. This one guy I dated, let's call him Ravis, because that's his name with one letter removed. Anyway, he was like the dumbest human I've ever met. He had this tattoo on his arm, like a music staff with all the notes or whatever. And I was like, hey, what song is on your arm? And he was like, oh, it's nothing. It just stands for, like, chaos. And I was like, hmm, that's really odd. Anyway, upon further inspection, I noticed it only had four lines on it. That is not a staff. It's literally nothing. You're getting something tattooed on your body. That means nothing. I overlooked it. He had bomb dick. Anyway, another time we were playing Cards Against Humanity with my friends, and one of the cards said Auschwitz. And he looked at us, and he said, I don't know what that is. And I was like, um, what? So, obviously, I had to break up with him because he was, like, the dumbest human I've ever met. But the reason I gave him that I broke up with him was that he had too big of a dick, and I just couldn't take it anymore. Okay story time. So I was on Tinder just now. Flip, 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 flip. Oh my god. Did I just have a stroke? I was on Tinder. Swip swipe in a way and I matched with this guy and he messaged me and he was like, hey, message me on Snap. So I did. And in his first message, he just said, interested? Question mark. And I was like, in? And he sends me this. <laughs> look at this. It's like a, it's like a menu. Like, look, D pics, $2.00. The pics of girls I fed five dollars. Vids of girls I fed like look at custom videos, sir. Who is this desperate? I mean, I know we're in a pandemic, but Jesus Christ. <gasps> Story time. So this one time I was friends with benefits with this guy and I was looking for a new job and he was like, oh, I can get you a job in my restaurant. And I was like, cool. So I interviewed, applied, got the job. Everything was going great. But when I started training, his coworkers, my coworkers now started asking me really strange questions like, oh, so you're from Colorado. No. Oh, so you work in marketing? No. And they were asking these things like someone had told them these facts about me. And I was like, okay, that's really weird. Anyway, flash forward to, I don't know, a month or so. And my best friend came in to visit me. And he and I had this really kind of homoerotic relationship. He was a straight boy. That's what we gays do. And when he came in, he brought in this bouquet of flowers with tacos. And we were chilling, talking and everything. And then when he left, everyone was like looking at me like I did something wrong. Like I hit a little kid or ran over a puppy or something. And I was like, what the fuck is going on with these people? So I asked someone who was kind of my friend. And I was like, hey, what's going on? And they were like, um, aren't you dating? Dating the guy who got me the job and I was like what the fuck absolutely not and they were like oh well he's been telling everyone that you've been dating for months okay so he told everyone that we had been dating for months not only did he tell them that we had been dating for months no 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 my friends he invented an entire life for us he said that we had been dating for seven years that we were engaged that we moved here from Colorado because my parents kicked me out when I came out as gay what um he said that my real name was Beauregard untrue and that I cheated on him with that guy who brought me the bouquet of taco flowers um and to make it up to him I bought him this ring for him to wear with his name on it now this was like some cheap convenience store 7-eleven garbage first of all if I were to ever buy a ring for a boy number one it would be much better than a something from 7-eleven number two why would it have his name on it guy was a psycho made up an entire life story for us showed people pictures that I had sent him like I sent him this shirtless selfie once where I was wearing jeans and he showed everyone and said that was from a recent trip we took to the beach. I had never been anywhere with this boy except in his bedroom. Okay, so I found out about all these lies he was telling and I was like obviously going to confront him. But before I could confront him, he had to leave to go to Colorado because his parents were in a terrible car accident and they were in the hospital, possibly dying, conveniently. So he was there for like, I don't know, months, like probably a month and a half. And we were communicating sort of back and forth a little bit. I wasn't going to blow his spot up while his parents were dying, right? So time went on, time went on, time went on. And finally, I was just like, listen, bro, I heard this happen. This is what you said. You're a psychopath. This is bullshit. And he, of course, denied everything. And then, and then you guys, after he had been gone from work for months and months because he was taking care of his parents, which he told everyone died and he had to arrange their funeral, it turns out this psychopath was actually gone working on a Disney cruise ship for the past two months. What?